Hi, CTE family. Melissa here again with another art uh, class that you can do at home. And we've been exploring and playing and doing different things with textures, so I wanted to keep doing some more of that because I'm finding it really fun. For today's lesson, you are going to need to gather up some stuff. And that stuff can really be anything that you have around at your house. It can be um, leaves or cotton balls or paper. I'll show you my setup here in just a minute. But what we're going to do is we're going to take all that stuff and we're going to see what kind of textures it can make on our paper. So I just want to show you some of the things that I picked out to try with my art today. I went around my house and I picked out some things from inside and outside that I thought I could use to uh, paint with textures. I've got some leaves from the tree outside. I've got some foil and some paper that I might crumple up to make some cool textures. I grabbed some cotton balls to see what those would do. I grabbed, uh, I had half a lime drying out in my fridge, so I thought I would see what that did. I got some paper, and I have this old box of acrylic paints that I'm gonna start with. You could do this with any kind of paint. It doesn't need to be fancy. This is just what was in my art closet, so that's what I'm using today. Um, and I've got a paper plate and a cup of water, because I'm gonna put the, um, the paint in my plate um, just to keep it from getting all over the place. And I might need to thin out some of the paint with some water. Um, I'll probably go get a skewer or a paintbrush or something to um, mix up any paints. And then I put down a layer of um, paper bag down on my table just to keep the paint from making a mess. So let's get started playing with texture paints. All right, we've been playing with textures. We did rubbings, we took our rubbings, we made some other art with them, it's been pretty fun. Today I wanna to take the textures of everyday objects and try them out with a, a different medium, some paint. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take all that stuff that you gathered up and spread some paint out. You can spread it out like I did on a paper plate or wherever it makes sense for you to do that. Spread the paint out in kind of a thin, wide layer and dip your textured object into that paint. Then you can use it as a stamp, you can use it as a paintbrush, you can smear it, you can roll it, you can rub it, you can do whatever you want, but the idea is to take your different objects and to create different textures, maybe even patterns, on your paper. Use as many colors as you want, use as many objects as you want, but create something beautiful. I'm gonna give you a chance to see what my assistants have created um, at the end of this video, but for now, let's take a look at some of the work in progress. So I have an assistant helping me today with this project. Can you tell everybody your name? My name is Colin. Excellent. And yes, that's Cle that's Clementine. Clementine is doing some sticker art right now. Colin, um, what are you going to do? What do you have to try stamping with right now? Metal. Metal. What is it? Can you show it to the camera? Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so show us what you're going to do with it. I, well, I put in the paint. Uh-huh. Then I stamp on. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Can you push it down hard onto the paint so you get a bunch of paint on there? There you go. There you go. All right. And now what? Then. Ha. Yeah. Okay, cool. Do a bunch of stamps. I have another assistant to try this out. What's your name? I'm in Clementine. Your name's Clementine? Um, and what are you Colin. doing? I'm stamping. You're stamping? What are you stamping with? Uh, a lemon. A lemon. It's like fireworks. Yeah, it does look like fireworks. Can you, can you put a little bit more paint on it so we can see it better? There you go. There you go. All right, let's see what it's going to look like. <gasps> Whoa! Keep stamping. Do a few more. Let's make some cool green fireworks. Whoa! That's really fun, huh? The fireworks! So this is an art project 
that anybody can do. You don't have to be a grown-up, although you probably should have a grown-up's permission and maybe a grown-up supervision to keep things from getting too messy, but anybody can do this project. You just need some textures and some paint and a willingness to play and have fun. So here are some of the paintings that we did. This looks like um, a lime and maybe some cotton balls and I don't know what other things we did here, but we had um, a few different textures. Um, this was our first practice. Um, where we kind of discovered what you could do if you smudged things or stamped multiple times. Um, this one is fun because it has a few different kinds of textures and I like how the blue and green sort of look almost like flowers in the midst of it. And this is the one that Clementine worked on and she tried some really fun things like not just stamping but also using her object as a paintbrush to get some kind of cool swoopy effects. So these are really, really neat. Okay, friends, now it is your turn. Go and get all that stuff. Find those old paints in your art drawer or your art box and see what you can create. As always, feel free to take a picture of what you've made and with a parent's or a grown-up's permission, share it with us on social media. We're on Facebook, uh, Creative Theater Experience, and we're on Instagram, at CTE Olympia. I look forward to seeing what you've made and I'll see you again in the next video.